St. Michael's Abbey in California has a beautiful new library, and that is not all. I recently spoke with Father Justin Ramos, who told us about the Abbey's latest updates. Joining me now is Father Justin Ramos from St. Michael's Abbey in the Diocese of Orange in California. Father Justin, great to see you. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, tell us about the progress of the new Abbey and the completion of the library. Yes, as, as you might know, um, last year we um, dedicated this brand new Abbey and we consecrated the church on the 4th of May. But there was still a lot to be done after that, uh, particularly in the church. All of the artwork is get, still going in, and uh, we progressed quite a bit. Uh, since uh, the dedication, uh, there have been a lot of things that have been added. And I guess the most important thing is the triumphal arch of the church, which now has millions of little tiny tesserae or little tiles of uh, beautiful um, Venetian uh, tesserae that compose a beautiful image of uh, Revelation 12, which is the um, where it says that a, um, that a great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of 12 stars. It is a beautiful mosaic that was begun a little north of Venice, and has been now installed and is now the crown jewel of all the art in the, uh, the Abbey Church. Uh, and uh, we had been working with the, the gentleman and all of the workers in Venice for the last four years. And uh, finally, it got done, and um, it's going to be dedicated later on, probably on the Feast of St. Joseph. Um, so that's something to behold. Um, I haven't seen anything as beautiful on this side of the Mississippi, uh, especially since Our Lady is 17 feet tall. Uh, there are the beautiful cherubim, uh, St. Michael the Archangel, and St. Uh, Gabriel also are present in the, uh, in the mosaic. And then you have angels who are blowing the trumpet. Um, uh, and dead are rising from uh, their graves, and then some are being escorted into heaven. Others are not going to heaven. Uh, it's uh, it's really a beautiful teaching tool, um, as well as um, a, a way to raise your mind and your heart to God. You know, it's a sursum corda. You know, raising our mind and hearts to God. So that's that's probably the most exciting thing that has just been completed in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Father Justin, can you tell us about maybe some of the works that are housed in the new library? Uh, this collection, that we have two collections in this library that are of, of noteworthy importance. Um, one of them is the uh, Sir Henry Chadwick's collection. He was an expert in early uh, church history. So we have his collection, and part of his family was here uh, for the dedication. And then we have another collection. It's the Odin collection. Uh, and I believe he was one of the editors for um, a, a series of books that was put out of um, the early Christian uh, fathers. So uh, that was just dedicated um, two weeks ago, and we finished with uh, a very beautiful um, um, talks and, um, and conferences on, um, on different topics about monastic libraries. It all sounds so incredible and so wonderful. Uh, I also want to mention uh, mentioned that it's also the 900th anniversary of the Nobertines. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the Order and St. Nobert? Sure. Well, it was during a thunderstorm that Norbert of Xanten, Xanten is kind of, uh, it's northern um, northern Germany, um, he was a worldly cleric. Uh, he was thrown off his horse, and then he heard God's call to conversion, very much like uh, St. Uh, Paul, the apostle. Uh, and so it was one man, one moment, gave birth to the Norbertines, and he kindled um, a flame that has endured for 900 years. Uh, the order was founded uh, on Christmas 1121 in Prémontré, France. And St. Norbert, with his first confers, really wanted to focus on the reform of priestly life. 
and that's how the order was born. And St. Norbert and his confers, um, are especially uh, in the early days, were very devoted uh, for their love of the Holy Eucharist. And so St. Norbert is always depicted holding the Eucharist up uh, high. Well, Father Justin, thank you so much for your time today and speaking with us uh, about all of this. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you for having me. And God bless you all and for all the good work you do.